So first, let's look at this theme, which is the Aboriginal sense of belonging to place. So this quote, who's stated by Maud, see that bird? That's the spirit bird. He will always look after you. So immediately via this quote, we introduce the importance of nature and the interaction between Aboriginals and people in this community. So by this, we're demonstrating the strong connection to culture and land. So the Aboriginal people have a very strong connection to the land, to nature, to animals, to plants. So this indication of the spirit bird is, um, is a way in which you really get this sense that Aboriginals find a very strong sense of belonging to the land which is around them. You also have an indication of the connections between people and animals. So this indication that animals are going to be really important in guiding the girls home and the belonging which the girls find to the wildlife around them when they're in unfamiliar surroundings. It's also really important to note that this idea of the bird and spiritualism is used as a motif throughout. So this spirit bird is actually what guides the girls home and it's what they can use when they're feeling like they're too weak to go on. And it really gives them a sense of hope in this very difficult journey which um, they're traveling on. So this next theme which we'll look at is the idea of belonging to family or tribe. So Daisy states, Basically in this scene, they're looking for eggs and Daisy's up a tree and sees three eggs. She says three of them and Molly states, perfect. One for you, one for me and one for both of us. So here basically in this very light-hearted, fun scene, you have the interaction between the sisters and the idea that they're sharing the eggs that they find is an indication of the strong bond of their relationship. So they're sharing as sisters in the hard circumstances of their life. And this really gives an indication of belonging as a family. The powerful relationship which they share is an indication of the fact that belonging can be found not only to the place idea which we've looked at, but also to other people around you. And that you can then foster this through things like sharing food such as they do in this fun scene. The role of Molly is also as the protector of Daisy. So Molly very much takes the, the motherly view in this and throughout the movie shields Daisy as a kind of motherly figure when her own mother isn't there. So you really get an indication that Molly and Daisy belong with each other and also that Gracie belongs with them as well. This next theme is the idea of exile and isolation. So feeling like you don't belong. So this quote from Nina, what's your name, where are you from? you'll get used to it. So Nina is the matron at the mission which they go to. And this quote really gives an indication of the awful lack of belonging, exile and isolation which the girls were feeling. So this barrage of invasive questions shows that they're very alone and very out of place. So the repeated double question and then the sort of very casual phrase, you'll get used to it, is just an indication of how culturally insensitive this new mission is. You also get a sense of their loneliness, confusion, and lack of understanding in their new surroundings. So you get given an image of quite a sad situation where the girls really don't understand what's happening in their lives. So it's very tragic at this point in time that they're so isolated from that culture which they were so in love with and so involved with. This concept of cultural shock is also very relevant to exile and isolation. The girls are put in this new environment which they don't understand and as a result feel even more out of place. The next theme is the idea of assimilation versus belonging. So Noyce wants to demonstrate that there's a very much a difference between being assimilated, which is the idea of being made the same, and belonging. So you see this quote from A.O. Neville. Neville states, if only they would understand what we are trying to do for them. So here you have this concept that they were trying to do the right thing and they didn't really understand that what they were doing was very detrimental at this time. Noyce is showing you that yes it was and that it was a really horrendous negative policy. So this is giving the white perspective on events. It's also demonstrating the way that racism and cultural superiority played into this policy as a whole and also affected the way that the girls don't belong while they're trying to be assimilated. So really highlighting that difference between being forced to assimilate and finding belonging naturally. 
belonging forcibly via assimilation is portrayed as harmful and very wrong for the girls through the fact that they don't find belonging and then most obviously through the fact that they try to run away. So this way it's really quite seen very obviously through Noyce's movie that he does not support this policy and that this policy was detrimental for belonging in the Aboriginal culture. The idea of new and old belonging is also explored in this film. So if you look at this quote from Gracie, who's talking in her native language, so her Aboriginal language, new clothes. Miss Jessup, however, replies, this is your new home. We don't use that jabber here, you speak English. So here really getting an indication of the fact that their Aboriginality was being forcibly removed from them. They're not allowed to speak their own language. So that sense of old belonging, which they've had their whole lives, is literally being replaced by this new belonging to the English culture, which they're just not a part of. The invasion of traditional land by white settlers is definitely further highlighted through this idea. And the sense that belonging was detrimented by this is really definitely seen through this scene. The sense of belonging lost as new people claim ownership of the old lands is also explored throughout this movie. And it's something which Noyce is really demonstrating to you as a viewer as serious and something which we shouldn't just overlook, but that we really need to focus on as an issue. The lack of belonging to society is a further theme which extends on this idea. Basically where they come to this new land and don't find belonging to this very sort of structured and modern regime, which they didn't have back at home. So Molly states, this people make me sick. So here you get the lack of correct grammar, which Molly is using as an indication of the fact that she doesn't belong and that she really isn't fitting in with her surroundings. So the lack of connections to her new environment are demonstrated by the fact that she actually feels physically sick by her new surroundings. So it's not just like mental disagreement with what she's seeing, but she physically wants to throw up because she hates where she is so much. The metaphor here shows the extent to which they don't belong at the mission and how unhappy Molly and Daisy and Gracie are in their new home. You also have demonstrated the fact that they feel out of place, scared and alone. So all of these emotions which you can link to a lack of belonging are really very much explored through their experiences at the mission. Um, you also see the way in which power is comes to play in this issue of belonging because the power that the white people have over them in their mission is what leads them to escape. So this um, lack of belonging to power relationships, which they've seen in their old environment, contrasted to the new very much power, strong, powerful figures in their new environment, is what really contrasts their sense of belonging in either places. So you really get this terrible sense from Noyce that the girls just hate it so much, their belonging has been completely destroyed and they're incredibly out of place. You also have the idea of the search for belonging. So Moodoo states, this girl is clever. She wants to go home. So you have this real sense that Molly, Daisy and Gracie are desperate to get home and that they're willing to go on this long quest, this elaborate search in order to get there. And that obviously involves following the rabbit proof fence. The determination of the quest to return home is an indication of how strong their sense of belonging actually is. So you also get the idea that the fence is a motif and a symbol for that long journey which they have to find belonging. So the fence is always there, they're always following the rabbit proof fence. And that's an indication of that long search which they're really willing to take. The difficult journey which they go on also is an indication of the fact that they must survive in order to find belonging. And they're willing to do absolutely anything in order to get back to their homeland and find that belonging which they've enjoyed for so long and which they want back so desperately. So that search, that quest in order to achieve that. The final theme which we can look at are the barriers to belonging. Now this quote from Molly is, they made a storehouse here at Jigalong, brought clothes and other things, flour, tobacco, tea. Now this is actually something which is used at the very beginning of the movie and it's an indication of the very much invasion of the white settlers. So their environment is being invaded by these modern conveniences, these things which the Aboriginal culture traditionally hasn't used. 
the list technique of the material items means that all of these objects are symbols of the barriers to belonging. So you really get an indication that belonging to the Aboriginal culture is being destroyed through this new white settlement. You also have change leading to removal of belonging. So noise is demonstrating that change can often be detrimental through the fact that it breaks traditions and cultural heritage. In this video, we've been looking at themes and we'll go on in the next part of our video to look at the way in which film techniques are specifically used to express these themes. So join us in just a moment.